Hello, let me explain you in an easy way what the added value is of the SAP HANA platform. Everything starts with the business suite. When you set up the business suite, you get all your operational applications integrated. Great. Of course, all these applications generate a lot of data that is behind. And you want to be able to access this data. Not easy when you have all your operational systems running on it. So what you're going to do is you're going to extract, transform, and load all this data into another data set. Data set. We call it the operational data store. So once you have filled your operational data store, you have all your data from your business suite inside another store so that you can access it without impacting the business suite. Very well. Now the problem is that in this data store, there is a lot of information. And actually, you don't want to see all the detailed information, you want to see the information by year or by another dimension. So you want to summarize the information, add it up. And for that, you're going to build aggregates. Aggregates will give you access to the summarized information. Very well. But sometimes there are still a lot of aggregates, so what you will need is you will need to index the information so that you get a quicker access. So let's build some indexes. Great. Now I have indexes, but still what I miss are the ability to define some complex key performance indicators because they are not in the raw data. So I'm going to define complex calculations. And these calculations are definitions that will allow me to access all my key performance indicators. Now I am ready to run my data warehouse. With all this, I can construct a very big cube in which I put all the data. We call that the data warehouse, business warehouse, for instance. So we have our data warehouse here. Very well. Now the problem is that you have different departments in your organization. You have finance with specific needs, you have HR with other needs. So you want to build customized information, customized data for them. We call that data marts. So from this very big cube, I'm going to build some smaller cubes called data marts. Let me put the data marts in my environment. There we go. Now that we have data marts, we are ready to report. And for that, we are going to use the SAP Business Updates tools so that we can have some nice dashboards to look at the information. Very nice. There we go. Now the problem, of course, is that with such an environment, well, you might have some issues. Because even if you have great products, the problem is that if something changes in your requirements, if you add another module in your business suite, if you change something in your extraction and transformation, let's see what happens. I modify something below, like this, and you see that your whole environment is not robust enough. And the reason is that it is too complex. Way too complex. So even if you have good tools, you are not able to maintain it. Unless you pay a lot for it. And that's not what you want. So here is where we can use SAP HANA. Let's get everything back from the beginning. So we have our business suite, which is still there. And we don't need the rest. So we'll remove all the rest. There we go. And well, with our business suite, as I said, we use some transactions, some operational stuff, using, for instance, the business client, accessing the business suite. Now here comes the HANA platform in the picture. We take the HANA platform and we set it next to the business suite. We call that the sidecar scenario. So the HANA platform is there, and what you're going to do is you're going to select some of the transactions you have in your business suite, and you're going to copy them in real time, all the time, in your HANA platform, so that you have some of the tables that are in here that are just replicated in the HANA platform. This will allow you to accelerate some of your transactions. For instance, 
COPA or FICO, some of these transactions will be accelerated. We call that an accelerator. A very easy start for HANA, because you just have to switch on the accelerator and it will automatically copy what you need and accelerate your transaction. It will redirect your transaction to the HANA platform when you need it in an accelerated way. Very easy. Good. Now what is interesting, of course, is that once that you have your HANA platform, well, actually, it's very easy to report on it because you just run your reports on top of the HANA platform for the parts that you have accelerated. So you have accelerated operational reporting. Very good. But you can go even further. For instance, well, you remember that we built a big data warehouse, the business warehouse. Should I throw that, should I throw that away? Of course not. So I take my data warehouse, which is still there, but what I'm going to do now, look, I take my data warehouse and I run it on the HANA platform. The underlying database becomes the HANA platform. Now I have my data warehouse, my business warehouse running on HANA. And I can go even further. I can take the business suite that I have here and I'm going also to run this on the HANA platform. So we have business suites on HANA. All this is av available today. So I have my business warehouse and my business suite running on the HANA platform. And what is great with that solution, well, is that now I can run my business client directly on the HANA platform. So every transaction will, will run very greatly on the platform. Also, thanks to this, I will still be able to do all my reporting and so to build all my reports on top of the HANA platform. Fast. That's good. But because I have the HANA platform, I can do even more. For instance, if I have some advanced data mining needs, I can run predictive algorithms on top of the HANA platform. The HANA is in memory, but is also using parallel processing and optimized processing, so it can run all these complex algorithms straight on the HANA platform. So I get great performance for all my predictive needs. Also, if I'm using mobile devices, what I can do is I can use a whole range of existing mobile applications or even build my own mobile applications, again, on top of the HANA platform. As a mobile user, you want to have everything very quick on your application. So that's what the HANA platform will enable for mobile applications. Great. Now, if you're running a specific industry, well, we also have some specialized applications called the industry applications. There are lots of industry applications that you can use on top of the HANA platform. Either they already exist and you can buy them as such, or you can even build your own applications so that you get the most performance out of your HANA platform. And of course, all the benefits for your organization. So I hope this made a little more clear what the HANA SAP HANA platform can bring to your organization. Thank you very much.